A. Can you help put the pages of the story in the proper order? Can you help put the beginning, middle and end of the story in the right order? That's it! You fixed it! You are a really useful engine. Now it's story time. Percy tried to make friends with a tiny little bird, but scared it away when he whistled too loudly. When Percy came nearer quietly, the little bird was not afraid. Percy and the little bird became good friends. The end. Untangle another story. Can you help put the page... That's one. You are really useful. You are a really useful engine. That's it. Now it's story time. One day, Sir Topham Hatch Shed was on fire. Fiery Flynn was called to the rescue. Flynn put out the fire with water from his water cannons. Sir Topham Hatch praised Flynn for putting out the fire. The end. Untang. Help. You are really useful. You did it. Well done. You are a really useful engine. Now it's story time. One day, Thomas had to give a famous composer a tour of the island so that he could hear the sounds of Sodor and use them in his next piece of music. But everywhere that Thomas and the composer went, the peaceful sounds of the birds and the sea were crowded out by noisy engines. Soon it was time to hear the composer's new music at a concert in the town square. No one quite knew what to expect. Thomas and his friends tooted their whistles and blew their horns along with the brass band. They were the sounds of Sodor. The end. Play. Help untangle the story by putting the paper. This story doesn't sound right. You fixed it. That's it. You did it. Now it's story time. Percy tried to make friends with a tiny little bird, but scared it away when he whistled too loudly. When Percy came nearer quietly, the little bird was not afraid. Percy and the little bird became good friends. The end. Untangle another story. Can you help put the pages of the story in the proper order? That's it. That's one. Well done. Now it's story time. One day, Gordon's buffer beam fell off at the diesel works after he crashed into a flatbed. Gordon was embarrassed that he had to use a diesel buffer beam while he waited for his to be repaired. Thomas reminded Gordon that the diesel buffer beam allowed him to keep working while he waited for the repair. Gordon and his diesel buffer beam puffed proudly out of the docks because he was still a really useful engine. The End